young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. <laughs> They're doing their part. Are you? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. Service guarantees citizenship. The bugs send another meteor our way. But this time, we're ready. Planetary defenses are better than ever. Plendathu, source of the bug meteor attacks, orbits a twin star system whose brutal gravitational forces produce an unlimited supply of bug meteorites in the form of this asteroid belt. To ensure the safety of our solar system, Plendathu must be eliminated. We break net now and take you live to Klendathu, where the invasion has begun. The XQ uplink on. Two, one, you're on. We've just landed here on what Camp Troopers are calling on, Big K, the sixth mobile infantry on. division. It's an ugly planet, a fun planet, a planet hostile to life. <laughs> Let's sum up. This year, we explored the failure of democracy, how the social scientists brought our world to the brink of chaos. We talked about the veterans, how they took control and imposed the stability that has lasted for generations since. You know these facts, but have I taught you anything of value this year? Hmm? You, why are only citizens allowed to vote? It's a reward, what the Federation gives you for doing federal service. No. Something given has no value. Look, when you vote, you are exercising political authority. You're using force. And force, my friends, is violence. The supreme authority from which all other authority is derived. Uh, my mother always said violence never solves anything. Really? I wonder what the city fathers of Hiroshima would say about that. You. They probably wouldn't say anything. Hiroshima was destroyed. Correct. Naked force has resolved more issues throughout history than any other factor. The contrary opinion, that violence never solves anything, is wishful thinking at its worst. People who forget that always pay. Rico, what's the moral difference, if any, between a civilian and a citizen? A citizen accepts personal responsibility for the safety of the body politic, defending it with his life. A civilian does not. The exact words of the text. But do you understand it? Do you believe it? I don't know. Of course you don't. I doubt anyone here would recognize civic virtue if it reached up and bit you in the ass. Come on, let's see if they plus the math final. Rico, take Tesla. We're gonna kill. First thing Fleet Academy looks at is your math scores. Wish me luck. Good job. 
Your turn. Just hold on. I want to talk to Marco. His sister's at fleet. Marco. Hi, Carmen. Who's your hair about Roxy? She made pilot. She did. Thirty-five percent. Very nice. Look at that. Thirty-five percent, ladies and gentlemen. Big numbers. Carl. Sorry. <laughs> you haven't done it yet, have you? Don't lie. I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> Others are waiting. Yeah. Did you read her mind? Don't have to. It's pretty clear what she wants. Yeah. But I want Carmen. Oh, you got it bad. Bye, hey, don't forget about this afternoon. He's always late when he walks you home to fish for a kiss. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Marco's sister made pilot. So will you. I mean, imagine flying a half a million tons of starship. You got up nerves of steel. Yeah, you do. Let's see how you're sold up. You may begin. Come on, it's just a bug. You better put your goggles just on. Just the bug. <laughs> we humans like to think we are nature's finest achievement. I'm afraid it just isn't true. This archaic sand beetle is superior in many ways. It reproduces in vast numbers. Has no ego, has no fear, doesn't know about death. And so is the perfect selfless member of society. But humans have created art, mathematics, and interstellar travel. <sighs> True. But before you let that go to your head, take the example of the arachnids, a highly evolved insect society. By human standards, they are relatively stupid. But their evolution stretches over millions of years. And now, I take this. they can colonize planets by hurling their spore into space. Okay, I think we got it. It's the heart. Mm. Here's the stomach. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's some steel, huh? <laughs> Don't think about it. Just go on instinct. Try to visualize it. Statistically speaking, you should have accidentally guessed right by now. Try another. So my psychic abilities are zero and I'm unlucky. Now luck's not a factor. No one really knows why some people are sensitive and some aren't. Who knows? Maybe it's a new stage of human evolution. That's why they do these kind of federal studies. But Cyrano... Oh, shit. Time out. Oh, you just want some attention. You don't play with him anymore. Cyrano. Go bug mom, Cyrano. How do you make him do that? Oh, I gave him the impression there's a grub crawling up my mom's leg. He's on a mission to go eat it. I sure hope you don't do anything like that to me. Don't be afraid. Can't do human. Yet. Yeah.